Anthony from Hatcher's Nut here, and I decided to change things up because I have already shown off my Transformers, like, most regularly. Ninja Turtles, Mask, He-Man, so I figured we're going to go to a different type of collectible that aren't action figures. Uh, these, um, Funko Pops and Nintendo Amiibos. Now, I'm not an avid collector of either. There's, like, very specific reasons why I would pick up any of these. And each of them, of course, has their own little story. Let's just real quick, I'll tell you who's, who we got here. So first off, we have Mew here from Pokemon. Of course, then behind him, Mewtwo. Then over on the other side, we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! And we have Toothless from the Dragons series. And then on the Amiibo side, we have in the back Mewtwo, and then next to him, Charizard. In front of Mewtwo is Pikachu, and in front of Charizard is Lucario. That's right on the left, it's uh, Link. Ken Masters from Street Fighter. Mario. Terry Bogard from the uh, Fatal Fury series. And then, of course, in front of him is Falco from Star Fox. And as I said, I, I'm not really big into collecting any of these guys. I actually used to have a couple of other pops, which I have since sold off. Because I either got the, in the case of Ken, I got the Amiibo version, which is frankly just a lot prettier and a lot more versatile. Uh, or I didn't care for the character and it was like a gift. And I was like, yeah, you can keep it. <laughs> so let's start with the Funko Pops. And um, so we're going to start collectively with Mew and Mewtwo. Now, the one thing I don't do is take them out of their boxes. While... They, I guess, could, you know, would be neat on display. I mean, even Mew has a, a uh, like a, a display piece that holds him up in the air because he floats. I mean, relatively speaking, they are quite different sizes, yet they cost the same. That always was like weird, because characters. I mean, unless they're like those super size ones are selling now, they're typically a ten to twelve dollar MSRP. And the reason why I collect Mew and Mewtwo is because it goes back to uh, night. 1997 or 98 where uh, one of the toy companies released Mew and Mewtwo as collectible figures. Actually legit, five points of articulated, or in the case of Mew and Mewtwo because they have tails, six points I guess, uh, figures. And my little brother and I uh, went to the store, grabbed two boxes of two packs. Uh, I got Mew and Mewtwo, he got Bulbasaur and Pikachu. And uh, because, I mean, the packs were, I think one was Bulbasaur and Mewtwo, the other was Pikachu and Mew or something, I don't know. Uh, but uh, my little brother and I uh, both are into P uh, in Pokemon. Um, he, he's probably way more into it than I am, because I think he owns, like, the whole series on DVD or something. Uh, anyway, uh, as with pretty much most pop figures, they do this thing where they give them all these big, lifeless eyes, which are super creepy, but... Uh, you know, that, that is their style. That's what makes them different. And, of course, these guys are part of two different series. I got them years apart. And, you, as you can see, um, I think I got them years apart. Um, maybe I got them a year apart. Uh, as you can see, there are the alternatives on in Mewtwo series, of course, is Pichu, Volpix, and Mr. Mime. And in Mews, it's, of course, Ponyton Raichu. And... Uh, it's pretty much the straight thing. The weird thing, I, I I don't know, these numbers, I don't know if they relate to the series, because obviously they haven't made 643 Pokemon characters. That always confused me. But there, these things are legit vinyl. There is, they're pretty much just remolded and recolored records. Um, there is no real articulation in any of these guys. So they're just simply collectible shelf warmers. That's what they are. So next up we have uh, Toothless from How to Raise or How to Train Your Dragon, and uh, this is the one from the third movie, The Hidden World. And I actually think this was the best one. This is the one where he got the redone tail fin, and um, I, I just I love the dragon movies. I watched all of the but the like the online exclusive series, and of course in his series comes with his uh, girlfriend the Light Fury. And um, I, I just love the whole concept of dragons are real and you can train them. Then, and of course, in the second movie, movie uh, somebody dies. And then the third movie, Toothless goes on his own and gets up together with the Light Fury. And they have little dragons. And uh, the, the ending is just uh, wow. So, um, good series. Re really good series. So, next up is Blue Eyes White Dragon. I... Uh, Pokemon had come out and then like Yu-Gi-Oh like a year or two later 
And uh, I, I love this guy. I especially love the three-headed version, Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, if you ever play the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, Ultimate Blue Eyes has a attack of 4,500 with 3,000 defense. Uh, this guy here, if I remember correctly, is 3,000 attack and uh, 2,500 defense, which makes him way better than Dark Magician. But also characters in this series, of course, is uh, Yugi, uh, Kaiba, and Dark Magician Girl. I'm surprised Dark Magician wasn't here because uh, these two go together and then these two would go... Well, I mean, they still go together, but Dark Magician is Yugi's pr pr preferred uh, uh, monster. But uh, I, I just... The detail is awesome. Uh, I just like the way the teeth look. He, he, he's, a, he's a tall boy. He's kind of as big as Mewtwo is. So I, I just really dig dragons in general so blue eyes white dragons awesome so getting into the amiibo uh i started with this guy here this is mario he's the i, I didn't get the gold one the gold one was really hard to find and by the time i did find one i already had the silver one i'm like why do i need two marios and then, of course this is the mario kart amiibo and um he he's just a nice it, it makes me feel like i want second place uh historically when we do or when we did poke or mario kart events um, I was typically a top racer. Same goes with Smash Brothers. Uh, typically a top fighter. Uh, in the last oh, five, ten years, I've actually not been very good at either of the games. It's just because I'm adulting and I don't have time to play. So, uh, but yeah, um, Mario is awesome because this character worked on both Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. Uh, so I have him trained to the max level, and and of course you use him to unlock stuff in Mario Kart. So yeah, that's Mario. We're going to put that him aside and move right on to his uh, franchise campaign. Because uh, obviously Mario's from Mario Brothers. Um, the other major franchise of Nintendo is, of course, The Legend of Zelda. And uh, this, I like Adult Link way better than I like Toon Link or, or Kid Link. And the fact that they give him like a little stand here to give him this action pose, that's pretty awesome. I mean, Mario looks like he's, he's at the gates of... Uh, uh, what is it called? Well, Disney World, and he's basically doing uh, Mickey's pose. Uh, but um, Link is just, first off, very dusty. Uh, but he just he got this action pose, and again, works for his game and for Smash Brothers, which is why I got him. And uh, he's just very nicely detailed. Uh, he's just so awesome. Next is Falco. Now, um, of course, this is the Smash Brothers figure as well, uh, just like uh, Link was. Falco, very detailed. I believe that um, you could unlock something with him in one of the the uh, uh, Star Fox games. Don't quote me on that. But I just like again another nice action pose. Uh, I'm, I I play Mario, uh, Falco, uh, Link uh, primarily in Smash Brothers. Uh, Dr. Mario sometimes too, but I already had a Mario and Dr. Mario is treated the same way in the game So it wouldn't make sense to have Dr. Mario if I already have Mario uh, Again, this is not a collection where I have to collect them all uh, It's just uh, I have certain preferences on characters that I would like to see uh, on a shelf so uh, I love the fact that he has a scouter on with his little mic. He has a pistol in his uh, holster He has a bomb on his waist uh, just very nice, action-y, just spectacular. One Up on Cancer is a nonprofit powered by gamers. It is a gaming community-based nonprofit 501c3 organization dedicated to direct financial assistance for adults in the United States undergoing cancer treatment. Simply put, if you or someone you know is an adult in the United States that has cancer treatment bills, One Up on Cancer wants to help. They do this by opening quarterly application windows where patients can apply for funds. If approved, One Up on Cancer will request the patient's medical bills and pay the doctors directly. One Up on Cancer raises funds via direct donations through their website while attending events and live streaming online. More information can be found on their website at oneuponcancer.org. That is the number one followed by uponcancer.org. So next up is Ken Masters from the Street Fighter series. Uh, he, of course, ends up in Smash Brothers, and I believe you can get uh, bonus unlocks in the uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary. Uh, so he has a double purpose like most of these guys do. And uh, he just has this uh, come here and get some look. He's ready to take you on. And uh, I, I just really like how flowing you make his key look. 
Now his gi is like, um, you can see there's like wind blowing this way, his hair is sweeping. Uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, barefoot as, as a martial artist should be. Um, I don't know why they have him kind of like up like this. I mean, I guess maybe it's part of the stance where his foot has to be a little higher up, but uh, it's just really good detail. And Ken is actually my favorite Street Fighter character. I heard a while it was Blanca. But Blanca is a cheap guy. You just just sit there and charge yourself, and people can't jump on you. It, no, th this guy, he is yes, yeah, second to Ryu, but uh, just he 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 did it the hard way, and he's still family man. Uh, Ken is awesome. So next up is Terry. Uh, he's he's my newest amiibo, and probably the last one I'm going to get. And uh, Terry, of course, is from the SNK series Fatal Fury, as his hat says. And um, I want to show you something because at first I was like, God, it can't be the same height. Um, Terry is a little bit taller than Ken is, even if they weren't bent at the knees. Um, in games where there's a crossover, uh, Terry is slightly taller. So, but I, I do appreciate the action pose he got going on. It's like, um, I, I'm not sure if he's hitchhiking or what, but he's holding his hand. There's obviously some type of wind going on. Um, I, I just enjoy the way he looks. And of course, and he's in Smash Brothers. And I believe there's an SNK game where he might unlock something. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. Just a really nice pose. It looks really good. Uh, so Terry is just uh, just awesome. So this is Pikachu. He is, of course, in Smash Brothers. If you have Pokemon Tournament, you can unlock things with him in there. Uh, Pikachu is greater than Blanca. Uh, I, I, I just... Pikachu is more versatile with electric attacks. Uh, Blanca... Uh, of course, isn't in Smash Brothers, but compared to Pikachu, Blanca, uh, Blanca can't judge, can't can't uh, get to that same level. It just isn't possible. But of course, Pikachu is the mascot of Pokemon. I uh, guess originally it was supposed to be Jigglypuff, but guess what happened? Or was it Cliff Fairy? Yeah, but Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu is cute. Works in a couple different games, and uh, I don't know why Pichu's in the game. He hurts himself to use electric attacks, but Pikachu, awesome. So this is Lucario. Uh, he, he senses key, I guess. Uh, they call it aura, I guess. But I mean, come on. In the general fighting game stance, he senses key. Uh, he is the evolve from a Royalu, just like Pikachu is the evolve from a Pichu. Uh, but he does not evolve further. But he does Mega Evolve, where Pikachu evolves into Raichu. Lucario is in both Super Smash Brothers and Pokémon Tournament. Uh, he, I, I, I can't remember, I think he Mega Evolves in the DX version, I don't remember if he Mega Evolves in the Wii U version, but uh, just a fantastic action pose here, he's ready to take anybody on, you, know, you get him to pose with like uh, Ken here, and uh, yeah, it looks like they're about to battle, it is, it is awesome. Uh, again, uh, just like everybody else, uh, they need to have two functions for me to really want them. Uh, I guess there's a couple of Animal Crossing characters that do... I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing. I'm never going to get Animal Crossing. I think Animal Crossing is boring. I know that's a hot take. When I was in college, friends tried to get me to Animal Crossing. It just wasn't going to happen. Next up is Charizard. He is... Like when I start Pokemon games, uh, I started originally with Red and I started with uh, Charmander, who evolves into Charmeleon, and then into Charizard. And Charizard is a flying dragon, although when he mega evolves... Uh, I think the types change depending on which one he's doing, um, but or, or, it, or maybe he becomes a dragon when he mega evolves. Otherwise, he's a flying fire type. Uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I have forgotten. Um, I'm just so used to using him uh, for like starters and stuff that uh, you know. I, I, I how to put this? I used to be really big into Pokemon. I actually sold my trading card game collection uh, a couple years ago. Uh, so I've been lacking. I still play like Sword on occasion and Pokemon Go, but uh, yeah, I've kind of been lacking in the knowledge. You know, you don't use it, you lose it. But he has this nice action pose. He's like doing a stomp. He's getting ready to battle, uh, kind of sumo style if you think about it. Uh, I just really like the wings being out. He's, he's easily the largest uh, amiibo I have, uh, I guess, in weight. He's it's just heavy. He's super heavy compared to everybody else. But uh, Definitely my favorite uh, level two Pokemon. Finally, we have Mewtwo. Now, again, uh, it's just 
Mewtwo is awesome. He was the first legendary, where Mew was the first mythical Pokemon. I just really like the way he looks. And just like with Charizard, uh, Mewtwo also functions in both Smash Brothers and Pokemon Tournament. And um, he just has this nice long tail. Uh, he has this nice... This actually reminds me of a pose he has in the game where he's starting to charge up an attack. And this is kind of the stance he takes. Got those eyes just looking like just blaring. He really wants to know what you're doing. He's going to keep looking at... Anyway, um, yeah, Mewtwo is awesome. Really not much more I can say about it. Although the one thing I do have is just a complaint on uh, Smash Brothers. His control... He's really floaty. Because he doesn't really stand, he kind of just hovers, and that makes him floaty. And that was my Funko Pop and the Snow Amiibo collection. Uh, despite the dust, uh, they mean something to me. I, I can't imagine collecting more than these guys, unless something spectacular happens where maybe late in the game, or maybe in Wave 2 or 3 of the Smash Brothers DLC to release another character that is like something I could never have fathomed. Like, I'm kind of hoping, crossing my fingers, that maybe Earthworm Jim or Spyro or Crash Bandicoot would be the last two in Wave 2 of the DLC. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and buy their amiibo. Uh, they need to have some other tie in because otherwise I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth. These guys look great on a shelf. No, no doubting that. It's just that I need more functionality from them. Anyway, tell me what you think about Funko Pops and Nintendo Amiibos. Do you collect them? What do you have? Let me know. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.